Hey there, good afternoon. Welcome back. We've got something new. We've got someone new. Dax, dear God. All right, a lot of you have suggested this song, including my my boy, Michael, my son. He said, Dad, you got to try dear, dear God as well. And so how can I, how can I ignore? How can I ignore my own, my own flesh and blood? But, um, okay, so dear God, I'm assuming we've got some religious content here. Um, from Dax, eh, you know, let's go. Let's see if we can unpack it. You know, you might, you know, when you're talking about Sunday school stuff, I might chime with some Sunday school stuff if it's needed. But let's uh, let's check. Let's let's go. Do you believe in God? Big question. I get it. Some of you don't. I understand. Interesting. Um, scourging. <clears throat> leather whip. The ends of the whip are dipped in sometimes lead. Something to give the, 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 the tails a bit weight to help. And normally there's broken pieces of pottery, stone, bone, <clears throat> different kinds of things that are embedded in the lashings of the whip. It's a scourge. That's what Jesus was whipped with and then kind of demonstrating this here and it was meant to completely uh strip the flesh um it would whip and wrap around the body and the person would twist rip and whip and pull and large pieces of flesh would be taken from the whip and um sometimes uh punishment would go up to 39 lashings they they had a tradition to believe that 40 would be the death blow and so they held it back one and would give 39 stripes for punishment of different kinds of punishment pretty brutal pretty brutal God, there's a lot of questions that I have about the past, and I don't want to hear it from a human. You made it, so you're the last person that I'm ever gonna ask. Tell me what's real, tell me what's fake. Why is everything about you a debate? What's the point of love? Every time I showed it, I was broken, and it's forced me just to only want to hate. Wow, yeah, good start. Um, first of all, I kind of, kind of like his voice. <clears throat> so far, I like the speed of what he's rapping, um, and and talking, meaningful. Not a, not a whole bunch of, you know, uh, meaningless mumble rap at all. And so, yeah, uh, so far I, I like the, 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 the music kind of playing around at the beat and his delivery so far. I like it. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, his questions already are, are very well thought out by many of us. We all think about these things like, why don't you tell me God directly what's going on, blah, blah, blah. You know, I get all of that. And I think, you know, from my Sunday school, I think from my per, my perspective is that Adam and Eve, when you had that fall and God had told them, hey, the day you eat that fruit, you shall surely die. And of course, the serpent said, you're not going to die. You know, you're just going to be like God. Right. And so there's the pride of life entering in right then. Right. But more than, um, you know, when they ate it, they didn't die immediately, but they ushered in death. They ushered in human death, death spiritually, and thus entered in sin into our lives, right? That's like Sunday School 101, right? But the reuniting as we are trudging through this world and having to deal with all kinds of hardship and stuff in our lives, like he's asking about here, it's like, yeah, of course, we haven't made that we haven't made that turn from being kind of you know stuck in this kind of state perpetual state of sadness and loss but that redemption was brought back through Christ right that's the that's the whole picture picture so we can look forward with a hope to be like him when we go 
out of this life. But until then, we're still going to have to deal with the junk and stuff that's around us, right? But um, And that's where that redemption part comes in, that there's that way of escape that he's provided. Just kind of, just to kind of address him and maybe some of your questions, you guys. I saw some of your questions and quotes on, on one of the songs I did that uh, some of you have asked some, some of these really important questions. And it's like, yeah, I, I get it. It's like, how could a loving God do this or that or that? You know, it's like, well, how could a loving God give his own sons so that he can provide a way out, right? He's kind of one of those answers. But again, I get it. I can't tell you how many times, even recently, thinking in my mind, going, gosh, you know, really? You know, we're all there, guys. I mean, we'll all deal with it. I get it. I'm I appreciate the honesty when Dear someone God, does this, you know? There's a lot of questions that I have about the past. And I don't want to hear it from a human. You made it, so you're the last person that I'm ever going to ask. Tell me what's real. Tell me what's fake. Why is everything about you a debate? What's the point of love? Every yeah. time I showed it, I was broken and it's forced me just to only want to hate. Why is it only one you but multiple religions? Why does every conversation end in a division? Why does everybody want to tell us how to live, but they won't listen to the same damn message that they give? Tell me how to feel. Tell me what's wrong. I tried to call. Pick up the phone. Pick I'm liking the um, try to call, pick up the phone. <laughs> All right, I, I get it. Look, let's see a show of hands of people that have doubted God. My hand's up. Let's see a show of hands of how many people really just don't believe in him and he's just a fairy tale. My hand's up. I felt that. I've thought that in my past. Who here thinks it's a bunch of baloney and just, you know, no one knows what they're talking about? Me. Hands up. Been there, done that, right? Who loves God? Who 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 trusts in him? I do, right? 100%. But it's hard sometimes. Just like the other song that I posted, um, Hobson 7. Really great video. Really worthwhile questions. Intelligently thought out. Tragically concluded. Um... But I get it. Come on, you know, I think we all get it. So let's, let's continue on. Conversation ending the division. Why does everybody want to tell us how to live, but they won't listen to the same damn message that they give it? Tell me how to feel. Tell me what's wrong. I tried to call. Pick up the phone. I'm on my own. Everybody says you coming back to man. Why the hell is it taking so long? Why do I hurt? Why is there pain? Why does everything good always have to change? Why does everybody try to profit off another man's work then destroy it just for monetary gain? Whoa, <laughs> that was a good one. Wow, think about that. To destroy, to destroy somebody, what somebody builds just for their monetary gain. All of these questions were left in this crock pot of hell, you know, just stewing over time and we're just cooking. It's like, when's the lid going to finally be lifted and the heat turned off and it all turns back and when are you going to come back again and all of that, you know? It's been 2,000 years. What's taking you so long kind of thing, right? I think of that all the time. It's like, really, God, when are you going to flush the toilet? You know, when's it, when are we going to finally circle the drain and just be done with it and just call it quits? Again, I just, you know, tough questions. I mean, we can engage, we can engage in the comment section. I, I, I honestly, you know, I, I get these questions. I understand them, and I don't have all the answers. I don't think anyone has all of them. We'd be lying if we could take our finite brains and figure out an infinite God and his creativity and his wisdom. How, how could you ever unpack that? You can't. You can't. You know, I look at some of the things that we are capable as, of human beings, brain surgeons, my goodness, heart surgeons, the fact that they can go through an artery and go up into the heart and put in a little you know, stint in there and all the things that can be done. And it blows my mind. You look at the Ken Jennings, like the the uh, Jeopardy guy, and you sit in awe and you think, wow, look what he do did. Or you look at someone that built the Twin Towers in New York, tragically fallen by evil, right? But yet you look at the design of what we can do. And yet we look at a simple flower and, and attribute it to just... Uh, pond scum evolving over time i i get that too i get that too i was on that hook as well man i'm so re i can relate so much to some of you that are probably going to reach out to me and go yeah but what about this chris what about that chris it's like yeah good good question 
Good question. Are we meant to know all the answers? I, I just don't, I don't think so. Why does everybody try to profit off another man's work than destroy it just for monetary gain? Tell me all you black or all you white. I don't even really care. I just really want to know what's right. They've been saying one thing, but I've been looking in the book. And it seems like they've been lying for my whole damn life. Tell me where I'm going. Where? Is it heaven or hell? I just hope this message greets you well. Had a dream that I was walking with the devil. Don't remember how it feels, but I swear that I remember the smell. Look me right into my eye and told me everything I wanted could be mine if I gave up and decided to sell. But I said I'd rather die than get mine. Now I'm here. No fear, one man with a story to tell. Hmm. Yeah, so it's like, hey, you know. Um, again, I'm just... Look it. You guys asked me for it. I'm giving it to you. So don't, please don't come down to me and go, you're just a religious fanatic. You know, Whatever. I'm just addressing some of the stuff that I'm seeing here. Um, I'm not going to apologize for my beliefs at all, as I don't think that he should. I don't think that he should apologize for his beliefs. I hope that there's peace someday. And even with M, my goodness, you know, he's right. He's such a wise man. He's such a beautiful person. Um, it's like, he, like I mentioned before, he's right at the door. He's right right there you know but anyways it's it's like this it's like you've got to appreciate a man like this dax that's willing to be honest with his struggles that's the beauty of the thing that i'm really falling in love with with rap is the the downright honest struggles that people are having man Huge respect. Gave up in the side Huge of the respect. cell, but I said I'd rather die than get mine. Now I'm here. No fear, one man with a story to tell. Yeah, so he's like, hey, you know, it's like I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna trade or whatever uh, down here and just take mine here on Earth. It's like he's kind of saying, hey, you know, it's like I was brought to this precipice. What do I do now? Dear God, where were you when I needed it? When I fucked up and repeated it? When they set the bar and I exceeded it? My life is like a book that they've been judging by a cover, but if wow. I took the time. Where I set the bar and I exceeded it. Like, where were you when I needed it? You know, all, all of these kind of things. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Man. just I, I'm just thinking back on my life. Just um, all the struggles I've had and all the things that I've been through. And all of it. It's a good question. Like, where were you? When I needed you. I don't know if you guys have ever heard. Okay, story time. You ever hear the story? I'm sure you all have. I mean, please, please tell me if you've not heard the story. This is like a common one. Uh, footsteps, footprints in the sand, right? Um, something like that. Um, I was walking along the beach. I don't remember it completely like verbatim, but I was walking along the beach and through life and there were two sets of footprints, mine and God's. And I'm going, great, he's with me. But then when I went through my lowest times in life, drug use, whatever, alcoholism, cutting, suicidal tendencies, Name it. But during the darkest times of my life where I needed you most, I looked back and only found one set of footprints. I'm all alone. You leave me when I'm in the most tragic time of my life. Where are you? And he says, hey, those times you were going through that, it's those times I was carrying you. That's why you see one set of footprints, right? So where were you when all this stuff happens? He's there. He's there. When I fucked up and repeated it, when they set the bar and I exceeded it, my life like is that. like a book that they've been judging by a cover, but I've never took the time to fucking read the shit. I remember telling you my goals and my dreams, but you didn't even answer, so I guess you didn't believe in it. I remember sitting with a gun to my head trying to ask you for some help, but I guess you didn't believe it. I don't wow. want religion, I need that spirituality. Hold on, what was that? Up in the air? What is this? You didn't believe it. I don't want religion, I need that spirituality. I don't need religion. I need that spirituality. Mm, that's interesting because there is that defining difference between spirit, spirituality and religion. Religions kind of could be more played out on man's kind of traditions, right? In a way where religion, where spirituality is more of a, you can almost say, wow, I, I, I've met my soulmate, the spiritual mate. I've, I've met that person. 
um, that true relationship, right? That's what he's kind of talking about. I want something that's going to transcend relationship that's going to go to spiritual connection. You can have a spiritual connection with somebody that's really connected, right? Along those lines. Really, really smart, smart thought, thoughtful song. I like it. I like remember sitting with a gun to my head trying to ask you for some help, but I guess you just believe it. I don't want religion, I need that spirituality. I don't want a church, I need people to call a family. I don't want to tell my sins to another sinner just because he's got a robe and he went to some academy. Mm, mm. You see, it, yeah, that's what he's talking about, about the religion. My wife, raised Catholic, don't jump on me, okay? But that's what he's kind of talking about. He's saying, hey, where's the difference? I want to. I, I don't need to be able to just confess my sins to a guy because he happens to have a robe, right? The traditional kind of thing, yeah, it, we're meant to tell each other and confess our sins to each other because um, it's helpful to talk it through and get feedback and realize that if someone on earth, after confessing my sins, can love me, how much more so can God, you know? So... Smart words, smart lyrics. People to call a family. I don't want to tell my sins to another sinner just because he's got a robe and he went to some academy. I don't want to read it in the book. I want to hear it from you. Don't want to learn it in my school because they're hiding the truth. Don't want to talk about it to another fucking human being. And that's the only reason that I even step in this booth. Dear God, how do I take this darkness and turn it into light? How do I believe in the concept where I speak to a man I've never seen with my own two eyes? I love the reprieve here. I love the fact that you've got this momentum going on with the song all of a sudden you have this little bit of a pullback and this sincere the sincere question that he's he's going he's just he's going hey man i really want to but i can't i just can't right um okay let me just back up again how do i take this darkness and turn it into light how do i believe in the concept where i speak to a man i've never seen with my own two eyes well that goes back to thomas Again, I'm sorry for all the pauses. This is more like a Sunday school message, isn't it? I, um, Thomas, I'm not going to believe it unless I see it with my two my two own eyes. That's where doubting Thomas come, comes into play. That's where I, that's where that saying comes from. Is oh, you're just a doubting Thomas. Thomas, right? Disciple didn't believe that Jesus was risen from the dead, and then finally Jesus says, "Hey, bud, here I am. Touch me, feel me." But he says, "Hey, you have believed because you've seen, but." Blessed are those that have not seen and still believe. That's where faith comes in, right? That's the whole piece that he's he's referring to. That frustration, that loop, that endless loop and the truth of the dynamic of what faith is all about compared to what you want shown as proof are never going to be reconciled. It just it just won't. It's like darn it, why isn't grass blue? You know, why don't they make blue grass? Oh my gosh. That was a total accidental dad joke. Love it. You get where I'm coming from. Blue grass. How do I take this darkness and turn it into light? How do I believe in the concept where I speak to a man I've never seen with my own two eyes? How do I know that religion wasn't made just to separate the world and create a whole disguise just to keep us in these chains while the rich get richer and the poor pray to you and perpetuate a lie? How do I know this ain't some big joke? How can I have faith when there is no hope? How the hell does one man have a hundred billion dollars and we still have people on the street that are broke? There's a lot of things I want to talk about and get off my chest. I can't sleep because the devil won't let me rest. I used to know a fucking pastor in a church and I can still hear the screams of the kids he will fucking molest. Dear God! Wow. Wow. Think about that. Think about that. Some of the child molesters in the church, horrible misrepresentations of God. It's a horrible thing to misrepresent God. Look at Moses. Yes, Ten Commandments. Come on, guys. You've seen it. Right? Old Mo talking to Pharaoh. Let my people go. You know, frogs, toads, flies, the death of the firstborn, all of these things, leading the people captive out of Egypt into the desert, walking with God, following him. And then he misrepresents God. God tells him to strike a rock and the water's going to come out and give everyone water. He does it. Great. Next time, God says, hey, talk to the rock and then water will come out. And Moses goes, oh, do I have to strike this rock again? Smack. Hits the rock. God goes, oh, I was trying to paint a picture, Mo. Now you can't come into the promised land. All, after all he did, after all that he, all the good stuff, leader, mentor, uh, Walking with people, all of that, pointing people to God. Sorry, you can't come in because you misrepresented me. 
child molesting priests, pastors, people that have fallen from grace. Uh, you've misrepresented me, right? Pretty serious thing. Think about it. Striking a rock, hitting a rock, and have that be the outcome. Something as simple as that. Something as simple as eating a piece of fruit and ushering in all of the fall of man. That starts to, that starts to mess with our intellect of going, intellectually, it doesn't make sense. I don't get it. And thus is born questions, right? Interesting so far. And this whole thing of him like this is, is really pretty <laughs> I'm supposed to fear you, but you ain't said shit. So maybe it's you who actually fears me. I don't know the answer, I just want to see it clearly. So many lies and a thousand different theories. All I want to know is who really made religion, because I know it wasn't you, but don't nobody believe me. No more lies, no more death. Bring back King, bring back X. Please, dear God, let their souls rest. Bring back King, Martin Luther King, bring back X, Malcolm X. I I'm guessing. Leaders. People that he can tangibly touch that have changed history. Trust in man. I don't know. You can't trust me. I can't trust you. No one can trust a human being, right? But interesting. Interesting hook. Bringing, bringing that here and trying to make it relatable so he can actually have someone to touch and hold. Like, hey, you know, if you're not going to answer, maybe these guys will. Right? Interesting. No more lies. No more death. Bring back King. Bring back X. Please, dear God, let their souls rest. Protect who's left and watch their steps. Dear God. Dear God. Dear God. I don't want to have to ask you again. I just hope that you know that I'm still a believer. So I'll end this all by saying amen. Wow. <sighs> yeah. It's X. Yeah. This is a trip here with him like this. Whoa, interesting. That's pretty cool. All the dirt and everything coming up in the air. Wow. Okay. All right. Wow, that was a really good song. You know what? I think I might claim it for my own in, as far as how I can relate to him. Even to the very end of saying, you know, but I still believe you. You know, Nux God, you know, we're good. We're okay. But still, it's like, really? Really? We got to play this game that it feels like a game, right? But is it? Is it? Deep questions in this one, folks. <laughs> Thank you for joining church today. <laughs> I, I didn't mean it to become a, a, a little Sunday school thing. But if you've made it to this end, let me know. Um, but good song. I liked it. I really, really like this one. This is a good one. It's a keeper. It's a keeper. Anyways, thanks, you guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for making it through this one. I know a lot of questions, man. A lot of questions. <laughs>